I just decided to make a cup of coffee and reshoot this entire video because I sounded so sleepy. <sighs> Hello everyone, I'm Maha and this is Legally Blind. I'm going to do something a little bit different today, which is I'm going to review a visual aid. Specifically, I'm going to review handheld illuminated magnifiers from a company called Coil, which is a UK company. I'm going to tell you how I use them and what I use them for, advantages, disadvantages, and I'm going to be overlaying some clips of the magnifier in action. This video is not just useful for visually impaired people looking for visual aid technologies, but also for anyone who's got poor eyesight or has trouble reading small fonts. You know, if you've got a grandmother or a grandfather somewhere who might need some of these. Let them know. All right, let's get started. I'll start by saying that these are by far my most favorite handheld magnifiers, just, you know, digital magnifiers aside. These are great handheld magnifiers. I've been using these or some version of these for more than 15 years of my life. As a teenager, I read all the Harry Potter books with them, all the other books I've read, I've read with these. Uh, I've done all my studying with these, so they're pretty great. Today I have two different models from Coil. This one, uh, by the way, this is not a sponsored video. This one here is a so-called AT8 magnifier. Uh, this is kind of the model that I was used to. This is a 5X model. And then over here we have a 7x magnifier, but a different model. These are called AT Max magnifiers, and I think this is a new line of products. When I ordered this, I thought I was getting one of these, but actually I got this one, and it's pretty good. We'll talk about the differences between them in just a second. So both of these magnifiers work in the same way. They are touch sensitive, and they have LED light. So when you hold it, it lights up and you just hold it at a certain distance from your book and you read with them. Very simple. These ones, the AT8 magnifiers, are rechargeable with plug-in chargers, which I prefer, honestly, but these work with AA batteries that go in here. Oops. <clears throat> Right, so one of the major advantages of these coil products is that they have a huge magnification range. Both the AT8 and the AT Max range from about 3x all the way to 11x, and there are other coil products that go even higher, up to 15 or 16x. They're also, as you can see, very light and portable, uh, slim, they can fit in your pocket. I also quite like the LED light, especially on the AT Max, it's very bright. Whereas uh, on the AT8, you can see it's a little bit less bright. Uh, both of these are fully charged right now, so you can see the difference. You can also see that there's a little bit of a difference in the touch sensitivity between these two products. This one has a bit of a gradual uh, sensitivity, so the more contact it has with your hand, the more it lights up whereas this is a sort of all or nothing kind of deal. I prefer this one, honestly, because I never just need like a little bit of light. It's always the more light, the better. Another advantage of these is that you can actually use them without light at all. If you're sitting somewhere bright or sunny, you don't need the light. Another major advantage of these is that they're very durable. They will live many, many years if you take good care of them. You will have to pay something like 35 sterling pounds for one of these, but it will last you many, many years. And 35 sterling is still relatively cheap compared to, let's say, Eschenbach magnifiers. So uh, in my opinion, it's worth it. The lenses of these magnifiers are also very clear and uh, not very easy to scratch. So if you just make sure you only clean them with microfiber cloth, the last you a very long time. Now, onto some disadvantages, but keep in mind that some of these are just cons of having to use a magnifier in general, not really specific to these products. A general disadvantage is that the higher the magnification you need, the smaller the field of view of the magnifier usually is. 
However, you can see here that although this is a 7x, it is larger than the 5x, has a wider field of view. I'm not sure how they managed to do that, but that's pretty good news. Sometimes the fields of view get so small that you can't even fit an entire word on your uh, magnifier, so that can be a strain on the eyes. Another problem is that you always have to practice keeping your hand at a steady distance from the book and making sure that you uh, don't make any sudden movements or lose where you are uh, on the page. So that can also be pretty annoying. It can lead to some uh, eye fatigue or even fatigue in your arms as you kind of tense up and try to keep it steady. But it does get a lot better with practice if you use these things a lot. Also related to comfort is that you have to hold the book with one hand and the magnifier with the other hand. And if the book is heavy or uh, too thick, it can be a bit tricky keeping it open with just one hand. Of course, you can just read on a table if you prefer. Uh, I find that uncomfortable for my neck. But uh, Coil also has products that have a reading guard. Um, so you can just put them on the book like this and they keep the steady distance for you. I prefer to sort of lay back and relax while I'm reading. So I figure out a way to keep both my arms comfortable. I think you get what I'm saying. Another disadvantage that I found with this model in particular, the AT Max, is that I found the touch sensitivity can be a little bit finicky on this one. So if I've been holding it for a long time and then I let go just for a few seconds in order to turn the page or take a short break or relax my wrists or whatever, and then I hold it again, sometimes the light will not go on. Uh, almost as if the sensor needs a bit of a break to register that it's being touched again. Not sure exactly, but it's not really a big deal. As you get to know your magnifier, this will not really be much of a problem. Another thing about magnifiers in general, I guess, is that if you are short-sighted, if you wear glasses or contact lenses or so on, you probably have to take them off to use those comfortably, at least that's true for me. I'm not sure why exactly a doctor tried to explain this to me before, but uh, I didn't quite get it. There was a little bit of a language barrier between me and the German doctor. But uh, there is a reason why it's more comfortable to use them without glasses. So for some people that might be a disadvantage. I don't really mind. I just, you know, I take my glasses off a lot anyways. Just something to keep in mind. Finally, these are not available in Egypt and I think also not available in most of the Middle East. It is a UK company and they do have some distributors in European countries. So if you have someone traveling to the UK, you can pick them up for you. Otherwise, you might have to deal with you know, shipping costs and customs and all that. Here, I just wanted to show you clips of the magnifiers in action. It is a little bit tricky to film them. So keep in mind that it's a lot better in real life. Here they are with the lights on. And here they are without any light. You can see that they're still pretty clear. Okay, that's pretty much it from me today. These are great magnifiers. I highly recommend them. Please like and share and subscribe. Maybe you know someone who needs these, so let them know about them. I'd like to thank my cousin Susie for helping me film the magnifiers in action. And as always, thank you to my patrons, Rowan Khalil, Jessica Masterman, and Robert Templeton. Thank you guys for watching. See you again soon.